Striding to the plate now for Oakland, go, Harrison Bader. That's in there. That's strike one. And a swing and a miss. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Here's Logan Davidson. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. Hey, all right. Here we go now. And a big swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next offering is foul back. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. The why to kick the pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Yeah. Struck him out looking. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a... And the throw to first is there to put an end to the... Bottom of the inning. Here's the catcher, Tyler Soderstrom. In the air, foul off first. One away. Batting fifth. Next up for the A's, A.J. Vukovic. And there's a strike. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher. Umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Number zero at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Strike two. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Got him swinging. Back here in the East Bay at the plate, Jordan Diaz. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Diaz handling the duties at first, hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he's a native of Columbia. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. And now it's going to be Daryl Hernandez. Next pitch has popped up. Candelario under it. But it's the pitcher that makes the play. And there are two outs. Well, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. And one, two, three, go the A's. And we are still. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in for Oakland, Harrison Bader. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. And a swing and a miss there. You know, these A's, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too that's aggressive mine, at mine. times. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. Up the middle, Arcia slings to first and a couple of quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Sheets now at the plate as he swings through strike one. It takes low for ball one. 0-2 oh, count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he goes down swinging for the strikeout nasty back here at the ballpark we head to the bottom of the fifth so here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland Tyler Soderstrom the pitch swing and a miss 
the punch out there down on strikes and he knew it striding to the plate now for Oakland A.J. Vukovic and a good fastball to start him off at strike one the Athletics still looking for their first hit in this one strike two you know Book, every team has a hitters meeting pregame but this lineup seems way too anxious aggressive you wonder what they talked about called strike three the knuckleball buckled his knees next pitch has popped up Mondesi in position I got it, I got it. that is the inning bottom of the six digging in for Oakland Jordan Diaz that one to first he steps on the bag Out. one up one down now back. here's Just Oakland's DH Daryl Hernandez. Hernandez swings and misses oh, and that is strike one Hernandez 24 years old and he was born in Puerto Rico swing and a miss and that is strike two Puerto Rico doesn't just produce baseball talent it produces Hall of Fame talent from Roberto Clemente to Pudge Rodriguez this is Monte Harrison That's in there in its own one Plays it first here. next offering is in for a strike The A's yet to pick up a hit here. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back in Oakland, bottom of the seventh. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Harrison Bader. There's the strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next offering is in for a strike. And he grounds one to the right side. On the run, throw to first. No play, that's an infield single. So the perfect game bid comes to an end, and now we'll see what he's got left in the tank and how they'll play it on the mound moving forward. But Singy, 
He's been a lot of fun to watch in this one. Yeah, Boog, really impressive from the very beginning. I mean, this guy was in total command the whole time, attacking hitters, and really he's made him look pretty lost up to this point. Sheets in the box one with one away one as he takes ball one. one ball. Swing and a miss. And now it's even one and one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Got him! And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Next up for the A's, Tyler Soderstrom. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. And that one fouled off. Bounce to third. And that'll do it. Welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now the third baseman, A.J. Vukovic. The wind of the pitch. That misses. And it's 1-0. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Makes the catch, now and there's one gone. The second baseman. Number zero, Schumann. up next for the A's. Schumann. And action in the bullpen as a result. That misses, oh. and the count is one and one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Next pitch misses, and it's two and two. High fly ball out towards left field. Ward going back, racing back some more. Turning and looking, and it's gone. Well, he really crushed that thing. New arm out of the bullpen, Jaime Berea. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. So now it's the full. Full hitter, number 53. Right now, the leading RBI man in the American League. He's been huge this season. This one in the air, center field. Touches down, that's a hit. That is big. Here's Orlando Arcia. Two for eight in the series so far. One, two runner, now. Runner, runner on the goal. Ripped into right field, base hit. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the... Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. New inning getting started. Here's a big power threat. Number 53. Number the wind of the pitch. Center field. Davidson has a beat on it. And out number one on the grab. Now that's a tough play for the infielder, Ray. So two away with nobody on. Next is the designated hitter, number 53. Ripped on a line. Can't get there. Base hit. Throws to second. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Number 53, the next to hit for the Angels. Liner caught it second. 
from up here. It looked like that liner might be a shutout in this one. Three nothing. Our final score for Chris Singleton. John. Inference is drawn from season statistics can sometimes illuminate potential areas of improvement. Number 53, the next to hit for the Angels, leading the AL in batting average. That smash towards center. He's got it. Two down. So one out, nobody on. And the batter now, Gabriel Moreno. On the ground to third. Now the throw to first on the run. No, throw not. save. And that was close. Number 53, the next to hit for the Angels. He's 0 for 1. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. You know, these Angels did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. That's ripped. Base hit. The run scores from third, and it's 4-0. Picks himself up in RBI. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. He's going! Run around the goal. Swing and a pop-up. Diaz hauls it in, and there's one away. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. And now the first baseman, Jared Walsh. He's 0 for 1. 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. MJ Melendez digs in now. Singled and scored his first time. And now the lefty popped up. Diaz moves towards it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that Let it rip right here. two on with one out. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Number 53. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes the 0 1. That one ripped. Get over, get over, get over. And out of here. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Now Next to hit for Arizona, Gabriel Moreno. Reached on an infield single his first time. The 1 1. Maybe a two ball. Five. 
four, three, and they turn the double play. I think there's always something pretty. So up next, number 53. He's already homered in this game. Out towards right center field. Tucker on the move. Makes the grab on the run. Two away down. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the batter now, number 53. Here you go, let it go. And the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Snags it on the run. One up, one down. This is Corbin Carroll. He's already homered here in this one. The one two. On the ground to third. On the run, sends it over to first. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. And the Angels take game one of the series on the road. 9 1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Back here at Chase Field, top of the second. Here's the third baseman, number 53. Ripped into right center. And now maybe extra bases. Around first, digging for two. Round second, digging for third. Rojas with a relay throw. And the throw's offline, safe at third. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Lifted in the air down the left side. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Runner at third, two gone. So here's Brown at the plate. Brown. The 2-2 on the way. Bounced up the middle. Bichette fires to first on the run. Save! If he would have had just a little quicker release. So digging in, number 53. He tripled and scored his first time. In the air, out towards right center. Pops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Here's Orlando Arcia. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. One down. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Jared Walsh. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And now, Seth Brown. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging. Third out. One down, runner at first. Number 53, the next to hit for the Angels. On the ground to first, could be two. Over to Bichette. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. One gone, runner at first. And now, number 53. That's a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Swing and a ball popped up, and the infield fly is called. So first and second with two outs. And next for the Angels, Jared Walsh. 
Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. In the air, left field. He's got it. Ball game. And the Diamondbacks even this series up at a game apiece. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now the DH, number 53. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back there. Banks off the wall. And that's a double. He was all over that one. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong, balanced swing. And a fraction of an inch different on the bat. And it is probably out of here. Puts the squeeze on it. Runner tagging for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. Pitchers and catchers have a unique bond in general, but Gallen and Carson Kelly actually lived together for a while when they played at AAA. Technically, it was Kelly's apartment. Line drive, base hit. In comes the run from third, and it's now a two-run game. Well done, drives in the run. Number 53, getting ready to hit, doubled in his first A.B. Hammer, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That one lifted to left. Drops into the glove. That's out number two. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Hey, get a Two out outs, there, huh? runner at first. So here's Brown at the plate. Singled and drove in a run. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. And that one lifted in the air center field. Thomas pulls it down, and the inning is over. Angels. Base is full, two gone. Number 53 will hit next. Swung on, belted. Carroll on the move, heading back. Back some more. Off the base of the wall. 5-3 now. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. Couple of doubles today for the DH. So runner at second, two down. Here's Orlando Arcia. Struck him out swinging. He swung over top of the now at the plate, number 53. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Tucker makes the catch. Out number two. Our final score here, 9-5 for Chris Single. It's mid-July, and the second half of the season is in full swing, and he's in the hunt for the Cy Young Award, an honor given to the best pitcher in each league. Ron Darling joins us now, and Ron, while still somewhat early, this looks like it's his award to lose. You know, there are a lot of seasons where I was on the top of that list, you know, the top five guys that have a chance maybe to bring it home. But the one thing I've noticed, not only as a player, but as a broadcaster, is that September means so much. I've seen so many pitchers lose to Cy Young in September and so many pitchers win it in September. So positioning yourself in July and August to be in the hunt is one thing, but it's going to take a big September. 